Hey everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to Auto Anatomy. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because this was, uh, I was planning on being back in Colorado and had a ton of things to work on with the Porsche project. Um, I've got uh, new carpets on the way, I've got seat samples uh, and materials to, to look at that Kyle from Only 944 sent over. Um, so I wanted to get those ordered, had some vacuum hoses to change out, just really a, a lot of things I wanted to do on the project today. But um, as many people know, with all of the weather in the Midwest, that caused kind of some havoc with, um, with getting back to, to Colorado. So I have a little unplanned staycation here in Greenville, but what that does give me an opportunity to do is check out some of the things around here. And I found out that there is a BMW plant here in South Carolina. It's called the Zentrum plant. So I booked a tour and today we're gonna go over and check it out. Before we get started, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. And as soon as I can get back to Colorado, we'll get back on the Porsche project. In the meantime, let's go check out the BMW plant. So our family kind of has a little history with BMWs. Um, when I was a kid, my dad bought his very first BMW. Um, it was like an 84, 83, something like that, uh, 318. Uh, just a base model, but I remember being so wowed when uh, when he got it. It was maroon uh, with black interior, and he loved that car. And he was driving, um, we were living in, in Memphis at the time, and he was driving to Brownsville, Tennessee, which is about, I don't know, 50 miles um, away. And his boss at the time, Pete, had this 85 635 CSI, and it was black with like a saddle leather interior, and I remember thinking this car looked like the Batmobile. I mean, it was low and wide and long, just swoopy. It was amazing looking car. Um, and so fast forward a few years, when uh, Pete decided to sell the car, my dad ended up buying it from him. And he drove that car between Memphis and Brownsville every day, putting 100 miles a day on it. And we've had that car in our family ever since, uh, ever since then, and he still has it. You've probably seen it in some of the videos um, that we've done on like the Model A or the Ranchero. Um, that car now has something like 260,000 miles on it. That car's had uh, a rough go of things lately. Uh, the clutch master cylinder went out and when it did, it dumped a bunch of hydraulic fluid all over the carpet, ruined the carpet. Um, the seats have split a little bit from time, but my dad really wants to get that car back up and running. So maybe we'll do like a, a, a rescue, will it run type video on it in the future. I think I picked the worst possible day to do this trip because it is 35-ish degrees and raining and they've uh, forecasted for something like one to two inches of rain here in Greenville with up to a half inch of ice in uh, North Carolina.
totally different from process. Okay. So unfortunately we weren't able to film inside the plant, but this is where they make all of the X-Series, the X3, X4, X5, 6s and 7s. Um, we got to see the uh, best fit body, uh, part of the paint, and then we only did the glimpse tour since they weren't uh, allowing people to do any other options. So they said, you know, previously you could come actually and see the, uh, the entire assembly and they'd take you building to building, but with COVID this is all they could do right now. But it was a neat uh, opportunity to get a glimpse inside of the, the BMW production here in, uh, in South Carolina. If you're ever in the, the Green Oil area, make sure you check this tour out. It was definitely worth about an hour of your time. That's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. We'll see you next time. God bless.